What is up guys, this is Andy Lee from Marshall Club. If you're watching this video right now, you've probably seen our Hong Kong style short film. Pretty much as of this stage right now, we have nothing planned yet. No story, no locations, no action plan, no costumes, nothing. Um, I just know that we want to make a super 80s Hong Kong style short film. Bring it back to the golden era. So we do get a lot of comments of you guys requesting how to put together an action film. I'm gonna bring this camera around as much as I can. I'll show you guys uh, the process and how we do it. All right guys, this is the most Hong Kong looking location I can think of. I don't know about you, but I think I hit the freaking jackpot, dude. Look at this shit. Yo, you got the uh, you got the pagoda, you got the red pillars, you got the Chinese characters. I don't know what the hell that says, but it looks all Asian and Oriental like. I can swear I'm in Hong Kong right now. Ooh, look at the floor. It's all like this tile pattern. I swear I'm in Hong Kong right now, dude. The lighting, okay, like the lighting, it's perfect because it's not too bright. It's not too dark either. Okay, maybe if it is a bit dark, ain't nothing little LED lights and some color grading can't fix. Originally, I wanted this film shot in the dark. It gives it that dark, washed out Hong Kong look, if you know what I'm talking about. As far as the story goes, I don't have one yet. I'm gonna approach this film a little differently than I usually do this time. I get the location first, which I think I found already, and I'm gonna feel my environment because I am an artist. As an artist, sometimes you just have to feel. I'm just gonna feel my environment and let that take me to my story. So I've decided on my story and it's a simple story because sometimes simple is more. It's going to be about two Hong Kong cops who bust down a group of gangsters. And um, why did I decide on Hong Kong cops? I'm making a Hong Kong film and I want Hong Kong cops in it. What are you going to do? Andy, why do you throw that punch? Why do you throw that kick? Why do you throw that kick like that? Why did you pick this shot? I don't know, man. I just want to. I thought about a name for the film. It's gonna be called Rising Dragons. Once again, I don't know why, I just want the name Dragons in it. And um, Rising Dragons just sounds catchy as hell. There's no real meaning behind it, but I'm pretty sure there's a significant meaning behind it, I just haven't figured it out yet. Hold me to that, all right? At the end product, if it's not Rising Dragons, then I'm sorry. Well, as far as costumes, I'm going for an 80s look, mm -hmm. why not? borrow from the wardrobe of people who actually lived in the 80s. Mm -hmm. You basically gotta ignore everything that looks good about fashion today. <laughs> like, you like them fresh jeans with that dark wash? No! Get that sh shit out of your head. It's gotta be pale washing. That thing that's gonna get you rejected at the club, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what you want. Let's go raid the okay. closet. All right. So, oh, watch out. This is the beast. All right, you, you wanna get a shot of the beast? Mm, the this beast. is the beast. Like, oh, look at this. You will never get anywhere with the ladies wearing a pair of jeans. Looks. Like this. Oh, See, as bright, that is loud. Oh my goodness. That this is. is like, my no. ears hurt. Dude, this was like my dad. Whoa, dad. shit. Look at that. Like, people took themselves seriously in white jeans. <laughs> oh, oh, how do I look? Mm. Mm. Big as hell shoes that like don't go with the jeans. It was mm. perfect. I have a confession to make. These are actually my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you have left, just hold on to it. Yeah, I mean, so like, forever. I pretty, I can pretty much like provide wardrobe for the entire cast. Like, I'm pretty sure I found like all of this <laughs> in the closet. <laughs> like, we're gonna send this video out to everyone. Tell them this is the reference. Just raid your dad's closet, and we're Gucci. And if not, Daniel's got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I raided my pop's closet, and check what I got. Yo, a crew neck. Red, red's my color. You guys know red is my color. When me and Daniel, we traveled to China and went to Shaolin. Uh, the Shaolin school had red track suits. These, I found them. Check this out. They, they look like sweatpants. This was our prisoner numbers right here. Ooh, yes. Red on red, mm -hmm. I have the whole red sweatsuit, like kind of like in a uh, Samo Hung in um, in Winners and Sinners. Let me show you guys 
the original jacket those pants came with. These here, check this. This is uh, this is the original track jacket that came with the um, came with those pants down there. All right, guys, how do I look? Red on red, and I decided I'm gonna keep my sleeves rolled up. And the reason why is because at some point. Um, I want to do a Wing Chun exchange with Daniel. Those Hong Kong movies, they'll have those random Wing Chun exchanges it's showing your forearms. It shows the beauty of the shapes. And as an artist, I like my sleeves rolled up. So, what do you do about it? You gonna fight me? <laughs> so remember you come in after Daniel kicks over. One, two. All right guys, so now on to the editing process. We did not know what we were in for. We were in for a lot more than we thought. All right, so when we were shooting the drama scenes, we were like, oh, it's okay, you know, we'll just, we'll just act it out however, and then we'll dub it and post. <sighs> no, dude, we thought it was gonna be so easy. F that. If we knew anyone who spoke Cantonese, they only spoke a little bit, and they had really bad pronunciation. pronunciation. And if we knew anyone who spoke fluent Cantonese, they couldn't voice act. <laughs> That I think was actually the hardest part. Sound, the sound effects. I ripped the uh, old school sound effects from a certain movie. If any of you guys can tell me what movie I got these sound effects from, I will send you a free Marshall Club shirt. I've only had one person uh, been able to tell me, and that's Andy Long. He's one of my good friends. You can pretty much show him any Hong Kong movie. He can listen to the sound effects and tell you which movie it's from. <laughs> Honestly, if you guys really just want to shoot your own fights, I think honestly the best way, you just do it. You put it together, you learn from it, and just get better at it. That's it. I wish I could have filmed more on on the set, but we were too busy filming, so I didn't have time to do that. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned a lot from this video. All right, at this point, the short film would be released, so if you have not seen it, please go watch it. We put a lot of work into it. This, as you can see, the editing process was the biggest pain in the ass. I had no idea what the hell I was in for, but hey, it was a good learning experience for me. And so I encourage you to do the same. Go see it, uh, comment, share it, like it, all that good stuff, all right? Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe. Marshall Club, out.